Today we are going to learn about solving quadratic equations using graphical method. But first let us recap on some of the basics of graph plotting. Let's say you are asked to draw y equals to 0 and x equals to 0. Do you remember how to draw them? Well, there are actually two very easy ways to remember. What is the x value of this? Yes, this is called x equals to 1. And hence, this line here is also known as x equals to 1. So what do you think is the equation of this line here? Yes, this line here is hence x equals to 0. The y-axis is actually known as x equals to 0. Now, what is the y value here? Yes, this is y equals to 1. And hence, a line cutting this point is also known as y equals to 1. Can you guess what is the equation of this line? Yes, this is y equals to 0. And hence, the x-axis is also known as y equals to 0. Now, there is yet another way to remember how to draw these two lines. First, let us plot a series of coordinates with y equals to 0. For instance, we have 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, and so on. Do you know where's the position of these coordinates? Is it here or is it here? Since x is 1 and y is 0, hence this is the coordinate. 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, and 4, 0. If we join all these points, we will have this line here. And this line will be y equals to 0. In order to draw x equals to 0, let's have a series of coordinates whereby x equals to 0. For example, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, and so on. This will be 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, x is 0, and y equals to 4, and hence 0, 4. If we join these points, we will have the line x equals to 0. In conclusion, y equals to 0 is actually the x-axis, and x equals to 0 is actually the y-axis. Some people remember by thinking about the opposite. So for x-axis, I will have y, y equals to 0. For y-axis, I will have the opposite x, x equals to 0. Either way, it is actually very easy to remember how to draw the graph of y equals to 0 and x equals to 0. Often, we are asked to use a scale of 2cm to 1 unit on each axis. Now, what does this mean? 2cm actually represents 10 grid lines. And so, every 10 grid lines, we will have 1 unit. Starting from 0, since we have 1 unit after every 10 grid lines, this will be 1, 2, 3, and 4. And what will this number be? Yes, this will be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and hence we have your number line. The same thing for the y-axis, every 10 grid lines will be 1 unit. And what will this number be? Yes, we will start counting from 0, and hence this 0, and this will be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. We will now zoom in the grid line, and let's recap. If this is 1, and this is 2, what will this be? Yes, this will be 1.1. Given another scale of 2cm to 5 units on the x-axis and 2cm to 2 units on the y-axis, draw the graph. Remember, 2cm means how many grid lines? Yes, 2cm is actually 10 grid lines. If you cannot remember, you can actually use a ruler to measure your graph papers. So you will see that 2cm on the graph paper is actually 10 grid lines. And hence, every 10 grid lines here, how many units should we have on the x-axis? Yes, we will have 5. And hence, we have 5, 10, 15, and so on. And what will this number be? Yes, this will be negative 5, negative 10, negative 15. Now, the scale for the y-axis is different. For every 2cm, it is actually how many units? Yes, 2 units. And likewise, 2 units here. So we have 2 for the positive side and negative 2 here for the negative side. Now let's zoom in on the grid for the x-axis. If this is 5 and this is 10, do you know what is this value here? 
Yes, this is 5.5. How do you remember? Every 10 grid lines here is 5 units, and hence one grid line will be 0 0.5 units. I will divide by 10 and I will divide by 10. And hence, after 5, add another 0 0.5 unit, I will have 5.5. Now let's look at the y axis. We have 2 cm to 2 units. Do you know what is the value here? Yes, this is 2.2. Now, how do we remember? Every 10 grid lines, we have 2 units. And hence, one grid line we will have. Yes, divided by 10 on both sides, we will have 0 0.2 units. So 2 plus another 0 0.2, we have 2.2, 2.4, 2.6, 2.8, and here we will have 3. Let us look at yet another scale here. Using a scale of 1 cm to represent 1 unit on the x-axis and 1 cm to represent 5 units on the y-axis. So 1 cm is how many grid lines? Yes. 1 cm is 5 grid lines. Do you know what is the value here? Is it 1 or is it 2? Yes, this will be 2. Because every 5 grid lines is 1 unit. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on, so forth. The same thing on the other side, we have negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, and negative 8. If you like, you can actually put it this way as well. And same thing for the negative side. Now, we have 1 cm to 5 units on the y-axis. So what should the value be here? Is it 5 or is it 10? Yes, it should be 10 because every 5 grid lines will be 5. This will be 5. This will be 10, 15, 20 and so on. Same thing for the negative side. Now let's zoom into the grid here. If this is 2, this is 4, what is this value? Yes, we covered this previously. This will be 2.2. What about for the y-axis? If this is 10, this is 20, what will this value be? Yes, this will be 11. Because 10 grid line is now 10 units and hence 1 grid line is just simply 1 unit. Before we go on solving quadratic equation using graphical method, let us understand one more concept here. What happens when we equate these two equations together? we will have 2x plus 5 equals to 3x minus 2. And if we subtract both sides by negative 2x, we will get 5 equals to x minus 2. In order to remove the 2, we will plus 2 sides on both sides. And hence, finally, we have x equals to 7. Now, let's substitute x equals to 7 back into the first equation. When x equals to 7, y will be equals to 2 multiplied by 7 plus 5. We got this because of the first equation. And hence, y equals to 19. Therefore, x equals to 7 and y equals to 19. Now, graphically, what does it mean? Here, we have the graph of y equals to 2x plus 5. And here, we have the graph of y equals to 3x minus 2. Can you see what is this value here? This is actually the coordinates 7 and 19. Hence, x is equal to 7, y will be equal to 19. The concept here is actually when we equate two equations together like this, we are actually finding the intersection points. And hence, we can find the common x and y values. We shall now proceed to solve quadratic equation using graphical method.